this video is help to understand how to operate our RS485 pressure transmitter by the software. So this is our software. We click the software. Here you can see three types: pressure switch, multi-parameter digital sensor, pressure level temperature transmitter. So we choose the last one. Click OK. So here we enter into the interface of the software. On the top, you can see the open file, save file, reset product, search product. This is basic functions. And on the right side, you can see the, this is the monitoring area. This is the current, this is the pressure, and this is the temperature. And the next is a, another tool bus. We can see the communication setting, product information, parameter setting, output debug, two point, monitor, multi watch, Auxiliary calculation, restore product or factory data. And this area is the communication port settings, including the serial port, board rate, date bit, check mode, stop bit, product address, host wait time. And this area is the slave management. So it is mostly, you can see the slave address. And here is the quick operation guide for, for customers to understand uh, the operation better and quickly. So first I'm going to talk about the uh, communication. So how we can communication the software to our product. So first uh, we have to open the correct port. So we click this button and uh, we can say COM3 can use. Okay, we click this one and uh, we click open port. Okay, and we, because it's the first time we operate, so we can use default communication settings. Okay, so we click the production information and we click rate. Okay, we can say the information is here. Product ID, manufacturer, product type code, product type, hard, hardware version, software version. And also you can say parameter setting here. You, you click rate, it will read out some parameters here. Okay, so, <clears throat> so how we can uh, communicate with the, with the product? Here we have two ways. First, you know, the, you know the slave address. Okay, you know the slave address. You click the slave address, <clears throat> and then you click here and read. Okay, successfully. Another, another is that you forget the you forget the slave address. But it can, so we can, we have two ways to operate when you forget the slave address. Firstly, we can search the correct slave address. Here is the buttons for max address number. So we choose five, okay. And we, so it will search one to five. And also you can change it to 10 or nine. Here we choose 10. And then we press, click the press, search products and it will start it to search the products from one address one to 10. Okay, we can see the address two turns blue. That means this one is the correct slave address. Okay, so it is finished. So we, we find slave Address three is the correct one. And another way is that, it, another is that you forget it. And uh, maybe it was 100 more or 200. So we can use a broadcast address. You do not need to mind whatever it is. So using the broadcast address. And then we click read. Okay, we can say the host mode is broadcast, products address two, so you can find so it can find the correct one. And the parameters here also is also correct. So next, uh, we were to talk about how to modify the parameters. First, uh, how to modify the bolt rate and uh, the product address, means the slave address. So first, we click here, change product communication parameters. We click here, it releases the buttons, write communication permits products, change the slave address. 
okay, we can change the bold rate to 9,600, and we click right communication permits to product, and it shows remind us successfully. Okay, so let's read again. So here you can see the comp three, and it's <clears throat> 9,600. And then how we can change the slate product address? Also, we click here and release to buttons. And here we change it, change it to one, address one, and a change slave address. Click. Okay, successfully. So we can say the address is here, and then we click the product information read. Okay, we can see here product address one. Okay. So let's change it back to the default communication settings. First, we we'll change it to nine. This one, and we we'll change change the products, and the pressure product address to two. And we click right components. Okay, we click it again. Change the slave address. Okay, so the slave, so the product has the <clears throat> back to the default settings. So next, <clears throat> we can see the parameter settings to a bus. So this is a main functions of the RS485. And this area, you can see is a float data format. So here are four patterns. A, B, C, D, which is the default one, and a C, D, A, B, and a B, A, D, C, D, C, B. You can choose whatever you want. And uh, this is the uh, output unit. So you can change it to the unit you want. And this is the two main functions, and the others is not related to our RS485. OK, we click read. It's read after. So if we want to change the output unit, we click here, we change it to bar, and we click right. OK, that's successfully. And we click read again. You can see it is a bar. OK, so we change it back to KPA right. And I read again, it's KPA. This next is the output debug. So this is most related to our pressure switch. Uh, it's not related to the RS485. And this is a fixed current. It's uh, related to the 4 to 20 million output signal. Also, notes related to the RS485. So another one is a two-point adjustment. So we call it also, we call it zero adjustment, zero pressure micro adjustment. And we click start sampling. One here turns green. It is stable, so we can click zero pressure micro adjustment. Okay, with success. Okay, and then we stop sampling. We finish the zero cleaning. So next is the monitor. So you can see here is the differential pressure, current, static pressure, temperature, and we can click here monitor all, and all of them are show in the one screen. And we start it to monitor. So you can see the curves changes. OK, temperature. It is changes. And we click Stop. OK. And uh, next is a multi-watch. So this help us to monitor or to record a lot of, trans a lot of products which connected, communicated to the software. So we click start polling. OK. Say address 2. If you have a, a lot of products, we will say 3, 4, 5, 6, and, and etc. And we can start polling. And you can <coughs> save the data. And click here, save the data. And choose the saving pass with desktop. Click OK. OK, and start polling. You can see on the desktop. It is a data. It will, it will automatically generate the data as file here. Okay, we stop polling. 
and I will check this file. You can see this is the date time different your current static pressure temperature. And next is auxiliary calculation. So this is a unit changer converter and it's a current calculation. And uh, the last is a restore product. So if you want to restore, so you have to input re restore and click restore. Remind you, I will make I sure to restore and you click OK <coughs> and it is successfully. So here we request you to uh, type restore here just uh, in case of any mistake. Okay, so this is the basic functions of our IS-48, 485 uh, operation by the software. Thanks for watching.